Hi, this is Gage and I'm excited to share our evaluations tool, which is free to use for all ages, even your youth and middle school teams. And what's cool about the evaluations tool is you're going to see live what your other coaches are doing. So you're going to see here initials of what the other coaches are doing while they're on the field. So that if all of a sudden a player keeps getting, and if I press and hold, tagged as A, I can see, wow, let me go see that player while I'm still at the tryout. So the big thing here is that you're going to be able to see live what your other coaches are doing, and it's also designed to work like an app. So if you see this little cloud in the bottom right, it's yellow. That's because it's updating in the background. So unlike the website that saves as you go, this just updates in the background every minute or two, depending on your connection. So if you're out of field without great connection, you can still use this and sync up at the end. So first, it's about kind of categorizing players. So if you press, you can kind of toggle through. If you press and hold, you can say, OK, I think this player is an AB player. And what you'll see on the left is your evaluation. On the right, you'll see other coaches' evaluation. So here, if I hop three down to Jason Vance, I can see that this player has been locked down by two admins. That means there's a lock sign after as a B-level player in this situation. Now, if I look up at the top player, I see a little exclamation mark up here on the right. And that's because I'm an admin, and I've locked Carson, the top player here, as purple, whereas it's been locked down as other colors by GM and CW, different coaches. So if there's an issue like that, you can go ahead and sort by admin conflict to make sure that you get everyone on the same page and you leave with your roster set. Now, you can also add ratings. So I just clicked on the name here, and I can toggle these ratings. I can also add notes about this player. And what's really important is here on the right hand side, you're going to see either a gray or blue uh, little tab here. And that's going to let you know if you have notes or if another coach has notes. So again, if it's blue on the right, that means you entered a note for that player. If it's gray on the right, that means another coach did. Um, and then obviously, if there's nothing in the case of Sarah Laxera, the bottom player here, uh, that means there's no note for that player. And you can toggle by that as well to make sure that you have notes on every player before you leave. Another popular thing to do is just lock down the status of players that you know are returning players that you want to invite onto the team. That saves your coaches from having to evaluate those players. So if I think that Jason Vance is definitely a returning player, I can click. It's already set to A team and I can lock down that player. Okay, so again, there's admin and not admin coaches. And this allows the admins to lock down a player. So this would be like a director uh, for your team to say, yep, this player is definitely a A, B, C level. And then obviously you'll be able to see how many players you have in each bucket. So if you have you know, three players in A, three players in A, B, and six players in B at a certain position, then you know you need to move those A, B players up to A to even out your rosters. Uh, so the big thing here is you can obviously sort, as we talked about, by notes, by your admin eval group, and then your eval group. Again, yours is on the left. The admin eval group is on the right. And then you can also enlarge the text here. And if you click on the question mark, we have a legend that kind of walks you through everything. So the key here is that you can also click on the cloud and save at any time. And so as I come, and I'll just adjust down the size, and I change Jason here to purple, then that will update here on the other coach's view. So as I've been going through and changing things, you've been seeing those things change live. So for example, this is demo coach on the right hand side. On the left hand side, we're logged in as Gage M. So I can see here that uh, Carson has been logged as DC. So next, I'm gonna click on the dashboard or you could come down to the gear icon. It's gonna make sure it saves before you exit. And here I'm looking at my evaluation. Now the important thing is that there's a metric set, which will be customizable. A coach set, these are the different coaches, and a color set. So this is like the uh, green, yellow, red that we were looking at before. It's very easy to load up players, um, and it's also very easy to create a new evaluation. So if you want to create a new evaluation, then I'll click back to the Manage tab here to look at my list. And here you can either create an event. So here we have an existing event that you could create the evaluation from, or there's a little wizard here where you could just type, I'll try to type as fast as I can here. Just put a name, could be like spring supplemental tryout, put the date, decide on the metric set, 
the coach set. And again, you can have a different set of coaches for a youth versus a high school team. And then the color set. And again, those were the colors and click create evaluations. Okay, now you've created that evaluation. Now I'll click the pencil icon here to edit it, to add some players. The easiest thing to do here is just download this example file and then I'll show you how the importer works. And again, what it does is it reads the first column. So if it says first name, it's looking for first name and then you'll just upload that CSV. So you wanna change all the information there. So you can see here, it's looking for first name and it's gonna preview what the items are in that column afterwards. So you can make sure, yep, okay, this looks like I'm pulling an email here. It looks like I'm pulling in a phone number here. If there's something that you wanna skip, not a problem, just choose to skip the column. You can come down to the bottom, click preview and validate. Here, it'll show you all the information so you can preview it. And also note if that player is new or as already exists. Once you hit confirm, it will add those players there. Okay, so now they're here in the group. And let's say that you have a walk-up player. You can always click and add that player on site. And here, if you click on the titles, you can sort the player. So now you have your evaluation group set, very important. You wanna click on this envelope. That's gonna allow you to email the other coaches at the tryout um, with the information. They just need to be logged into their Connect Labs account and they'll be good to go. If I come up to the top, we have some tabs here at the top. This is where you'll be able to customize your metrics. You can currently customize your coaches. So if I come in here, I can create a new coach set. This could be, uh, for example, youth. And then I can click on the pencil icon here, decide which coaches I wanna be admins or not. And again, admins, they just have the ability to lock down a player status. And then I can click here and add labels uh, for these different groupings that we have like pools. Um, in the results, What's very cool is that you can pull different tryouts together. So let's say you have round two, round two, I'm sorry, round one, round two. You can consolidate that into one view. And then you'll be able to click and see which coach left which evaluation and when. Uh, so you can see some detail here and audit that and then obviously download the results. So that is the tryouts. Obviously, it was born out of the player database, which a lot of teams use here to give feedback to players. This is where you can have different coaches come in and leave notes about the player, which you can summarize into general comments. You can add slider ratings and send that to the player and parent as feedback. Um, the key here with the evaluations is that obviously the feedback element is coming, but it's built to work mobile. So again, it's updating, running like an app uh, and updating in the background. And then you can see live uh, what your other coaches are doing so that you'll have the benefit of that information while you're on the field. And then between your tryouts, you know, between your 22 and 23 tryouts, you go to the water cooler, make sure that everyone has the same uh, eval, how you get rid of those conflicts. And that way you can leave with your roster set. So thanks for your time. And if you have any feedback, please let us know. Thank you.